Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create random oscillations of particles by randomizing the age. We are going to build everything from scratch, so let's begin with this empty project, and I'm going to go and add an end side with two sides. That's going to create a straight line. Now go down to the intermediate points and set it to uniform and set the number of points you want the spline to have, eight in this case. Now let's go to the simulate menu and use a spline emitter that emits from points a shot. And if I press play, you will see we get some points that are going in all sorts of directions. In the properties, I'm going to set the direction not to be radial, but to be an axis, and by default, it's the plus Z. So now I'm going to get a straight line of particles. Let's first create the oscillation. Let's bring this down here, and let's go to the simulate menu, and in the modifiers, I'm going to bring a data mapper. I'm going to make it a child of the particle group for good measure, and in the properties, I'm going to use the age from 0 to 30 frames to change the position y, and I'm going to repeat this, and I'm going to go from minus 50 centimeters to plus 50. And this is going to create a uniform oscillation, and they go up and down. Fantastic. Rewind. Now, with the particle group selected, let's go and create a tracer object because it's fancy. And there you go, we have these oscillations. Now, what do we need to do in order to offset these oscillations? Now, don't forget that the data mapper is using the age. So if a particle has a different age, it's going to oscillate at a different offset. So what do we need for this? Well, we are going to randomize the age. So let me pull out the data mapper. And uh, in the particle group, the original one, I'm going to go and use the math modifier. I'm going to drag it as a child, and I'm going to tell it to assign for the age a random number, which I'm going to get from a field. It's going to be between 0 and 30, and I'm going to use a random field, and I'm going to set it to random or any of the other randomnesses, but random will assign a random value for each particle, and the field list, which is 0 to 1, is going to be multiplied by this value. Immediately after I set these random ages, I want to switch group. So go to modifier and switch group. And I'm going to put this right on top and then drag this on top. So first the math executes and then the switch group. Select the switch group and create a new group. And I'm going to call this oscillation. Now put the data mapper in here and let's see what this does. There you go. The only thing we need to change is we want the tracer to trace the oscillation and not the original particle group. And there you have it. You have your particles oscillating with different offsets. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.